How the hell did the Tennessee Titans lose this game? I know exactly how. Will Levis. Going into this year, we as Titans fans all knew that our GM Rand Carthon had to prove himself to this fan base. And I don't think nobody in the world could say that he did anything less than a spectacular job. But there were two big questions that needed to be answered in order for the Titans to not look like how we did last year. Number one, was the offensive line going to improve? And number two, can we count on Will Levis? I'll be honest. I wanted to give Will Levis the benefit of doubt because of last year I felt like it was a little bit unfair to him considering the fact that our offensive line was terrible and our play calling was horrible and also our receivers wasn't too great neither. But going off for today, Will Levis done pissed me off. First off, shout out to our defense. The scoreboard don't nearly tell how incredible they were against the Bears. But let me finish my rant on Will Levis. As a Titans fan, you have given me the biggest migraine I've had all month watching sports. Because there is no possible way in hell that you thought it was a good idea to throw that goddamn ball on third down when we had the lead and we were winning and we've been stopping them all goddamn game. Why would you try to be a hero on that play? And I heard you say something like you were trying to dirt it. Brother, it's third down. Just take the sack. In that situation, we literally have nothing to gain and pretty much everything to lose. And you lost us that motherfucker. But you know what else I thought about? You might have actually been hurt. Because why the hell do you keep taking these big ass hits by these big ass dudes when you scram? Brother, for the sake of your career, please just slide. Do it for the fan base because we at least want a healthy quarterback for the rest of the season. Or do we? I know one thing. Mason Rudolph better start getting some extra reps at practice this week just in case Will Levis keep doing that bullshit like he did. As far as Brian Callahan's debut as a head coach, I probably would give him a 7.5 out of 10. I thought early on he weathered the storm because the first quarter, it almost felt like it was a disaster waiting on us with how thick the atmosphere was, and we just kept getting behind the sticks. But once we settled in with our defense and made a couple of stops, Brian Callahan really put together some impressive drives and play calls, which led to us going up 17-0. And I do think we missed a couple of points like that. Levis to really deep ball. But once again, it's week one, so, I mean, that's expected. Now, my only complaint about Callahan would be that when the offensive line started giving up plays, and I think maybe we either got too damn fancy at times and too predictable at times. When they performing as bad as they were, when the momentum started to shift in the game, maybe we should probably get some quick throws to move the chains, but trying to run it up the gut when they were already rattled, I think that's a little bit too predictable for me. And the fancy part came when we was just trying these in and around plays to get trailing Burks on the outside, but that got stopped. And I just didn't like that third down screen that Will Levis threw to Tyler Boyd on that last drive. As a fan, I just didn't like that call. But overall, Coach Callahan, I believe in you. I have faith in you. I can't wait to see the next game that you call. And as a Titans fan, overall, I'm not really mad about the performance. I'm more mad at Will Levis because that shit was just uncalled for. But let's go back to that drawing board because next week we got to tighten up for the next game.